the Warriors and the Celtics played one of the best games of the season. Tatum versus Curry put on a show. Um, like I said, this is game of the year potential. Two superstars going at it. Celtics have now won six straight off the back of Tatum. Um, Brown was hurt. I think he had some sickness or something like that. It wasn't COVID-related, but he wasn't feeling well, so he didn't play. Tatum put the team on his back, 44 points for Tatum to go against Curry's 47 on 11 May threes. This was just, if you guys haven't watched the game, if you guys missed the game, I suggest you guys watch at least the highlights. Um, if they play the game again, definitely catch it. Uh, check NBA TV or something. Game of the year potential for sure. It was it was a great game, start to finish. The, the Warriors... Took like I believe like a 14 or 16 point lead at the beginning of and of the first half or in the first half and then by halftime, Tatum had brought them back and it was only a six point game. And then the Celtics came back, took the lead. Warriors came back, took the lead. And then the last few minutes were just crazy. Tatum and Curry going at it. Curry ended up with 11 threes. Another game where he's just a complete flamethrower. And Kemba Walker finally looks healthy. He, I think he finished with 25 points on. Uh, 26 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. He looked like the old Campbell Walker. I'm excited to see how how good he plays, if he could if he could continue to stay healthy, how he will look in the playoffs. Yeah. But the Celtics are coming. They've won six straight. But for the Warriors, they need help. Curry needs help. He sprained his ankle um, throughout the game, but he still continued to play. He carried his team. He's the only player, the only players in NBA history, 33 years of age or older with 10 consecutive games of 30 points 30 10 consecutive games scoring 30 points or more the late Kobe Bryant and Steph Curry so Steph Curry you know my respect to him the, the streak the hot streak that he's on right now he's on a good one right now he's he even himself he said that this might be the best streak he's had in his whole career and that's saying something from the two-time MVP um, one-time unanimous he he's he's going crazy right now he's He's must watch TV. I think they play tonight. I think they play. I think it's Luca and the Mavs. But if you guys haven't watched any Warriors game these last few months, this last week, I suggest you guys tune in. Curry is on fire. He just won. Um, he just won West Western Player of the Week. Well deserved. Uh, for the Warriors, Gary Payton. I think Gary Payton needs to play more minutes. The few minutes that he played, I believe he played like seven. Um, he got some steals. He looked active. He has fast hands. We all know that his dad, Gary Payton, was an amazing player. He was one of the best defensive guards in the league. His son um, definitely has some limitations, but he's gritty and he's a good defender. Also, Juan Toscano Anderson, he has a great motor. I loved what I see I see from him when he gets minutes. Um, he puts his body on the line. He's Mexican, so I, I respect him even more. But I love his hustle. I love his heart. He he left it all out on the on the court. He got hurt. I think he got a laceration on his head trying to go for a ball that was going out of bounds. It led to Curry three pointer. So it was a great play. It was one of those plays that I was watching and I was like, damn, that that was sick. Like this is such a good game. It has everything. But if I'm talking about Gary Payton Jr., if I'm talking about Juan Toscano Anderson, no offense to them, but they're role players at best. Or, like, they could be solid role players. I don't think any of them has, like, star potential, and I, I don't think I'm, I'm offending them by saying that. I think they both know that they're role players, and they're, they could be solid role players. They could be key pieces to a championship team one day. But just the fact that I'm talking about Gary Payton Jr. and Juan Toscano Anderson just shows how much the Warriors have fallen off these last few years, how much help Curry needs. So I'm not talking about these two guys that a lot of people don't really know about. Um, Draymond Green, oh my guy, he missed a layup in the crucial time of the game. And uh, Kent Bazemore, he, he got to the free throw line. I think there was like two minutes left or less. He misses both of them. It's just like, come on, like help Curry out a little bit. I, uh, when Curry was at the top, you know, as, as a Laker fan, I wasn't one of his biggest fans. I was, there's a lot of people that were using his name in hyperbole and calling him like top three players, top five player in the world, in the in the history of the NBA already. And I had to bring him down a peg during that time. But now I feel like I'm turning into a Curry defender. Like, come on, someone help the man out. Uh, it's, it's amazing. I've always enjoyed this game. He's no matter like how much I criticize him when people are like uh, put him in the top three all time or whatever. Anyways, he needs help. 
get Curry some help. What he's doing right now on the court is ridiculous. Um, it's <laughs> it's insane. He's out. He's outscored a lot of teams um, in scoring three pointers this last few week or the last month. It's insane what he's doing. Get Curry some help. I hope Clay Thompson comes back healthy and at least ninety percent of what he used to be. So the Curry could have some help and we could have some great playoff matches with him. I will say this, it doesn't look like the Warriors are going to climb into the sixth seed, so they're just rightfully into the playoffs. But if they get the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, or the tenth, watching the Warriors, watching Steph Curry for the play-in, watching Steph Curry um, go at it in these play-in play playoff games is going to be like super exciting. But for the Celtics, without Jalen Brown, Tatum, he continued to take that next step forward, p carrying the offense. Kemba looked good, too. They've won six straight. It looks like uh, Brad Stevens is turning that team around. Uh, also, Javari Parker made his Celtics debut. He played 16 minutes, 11 points on five of six shooting, four rebounds. First game as a Celtic, he didn't even have a full practice. It was just a shoot around. I hope Javari Parker is able to reignite his career with the Celtics. Uh, he's never really played for a contender for, like, a good team other than the Bucks. but he was very young. He got hurt. I think this might be a right situation. I know Brad Steven is a great coach. I think he'll be able to coach him in the right way and get the most out of him. But, yeah, it was a great game. Might be the game of the year when it's all said and done. It was so exciting. Uh, like I said, if you guys missed it, make sure to uh, tune in for Warriors games. Tune in for Celtics games. Tatum's been killing it, too. And at least catch the highlights for this game. It was a great game. I had a little bit of everything, Curry going off, Tatum going off to Toscano, throwing his body uh, everywhere. It, it was just crazy. It was a good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it.